Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to my channel. Eat healthy, get rich, drink good beer. Hi, my name is Taranjit Singh Rai and I help college going students, university going students to save for that mortgage, to save for your marriage and if you're a young growing adult, to maybe pay off that mortgage. Today, we will talk about one cryptocurrency and also I'm going to teach you how to make Punjabi Raita. Now that is a dish which is very very traditional, it is actually very anti-aging and very very healthy. For this, you need about 250 grams of natural yogurt. Any Greek yogurt will do the job, any plain yogurt will do the job. Now, this is sea salt, I wanted to put rock salt but I can't find it in the house. So we're gonna go with sea salt. Black pepper, these are Kashmiri chili red flakes. Any ground red chili will also do the job. Cumin seeds, a little bit of garam masala, finely chopped tomato, finely chopped cucumber, finely chopped red onions, little bit of fresh coriander or cilantro for my American friends, finely chopped one green chili. This is optional. Most of these ingredients are optional. You can skip and put whatever you like. Usually, I will also have half a squeeze of lime. I don't have it in the fridge, so you're gonna make it like this. And finally, I am downing this uh, spicy uh, raita with 2015 Reserva from Spain. It really goes well with this kind of uh, yogurt dish. Let's get started. Guys, fun fact, I've just opened this. This is a new pack. There's always some liquid on top, you know? That is whey. Actually, that is protein. Most of the yogurts are actually 3% protein. Just fun fact. You see the consistency of this yogurt? Put approximately 250 grams. In goes everything. Cucumber, tomatoes. There is no fast or last in this, okay? Add salt, black pepper. Guys, just be careful with the chilies, okay? Uh, also with the black pepper, a little bit of uh, Kashmiri chilies. This is more to give the color. Cumin seeds, again, a little bit, not too much. And last but not the least, a little bit of garam masala. Again, uh, just a teaspoon is enough. As you know, there are no rules to my cooking, so I'm not gonna measure. Just mix it, guys. Look at this already. The colors are exploding in this. And the last thing you need to do is just mix this. And that's our raita ready to eat. You can add a little bit of milk uh, to again make it slightly more creamier but this type of natural yogurt is actually already really really creamy so I'm not gonna do that. As I said you can squeeze a lime to make it even more fresh and just have a small taste. This is Evan guys. I would encourage you to try this as soon as you watch this video and leave a comment how did it taste when you made it let's talk about the crypto just briefly before i talk about the cryptocurrency the market is still slightly bearish even at the miami conference uh, going on at the moment bitcoin is still uh, 36 i think it will take some time for bitcoin uh, to recover from here it can go in either direction it can either uh, go to high 40s or it can actually go around uh, low 30s so I am just waiting on the sidelines here. I'm not doing much. I'm just waiting for that big massive dip to see whether if I want to add more. I am very, very bullish on Cardano, uh, whose native token is ADA. It's my opinion that ADA will give us the highest return on investment. I'm not financial advisor. This is not a financial advice. These videos are for entertainment purposes only. However, I would like uh, you to please like, subscribe, uh, and then hit that bell notification uh, button just because YouTube algorithm has not been kind to me. I'm only your weekend YouTuber, so the algorithm doesn't really like me because I don't uh, make videos every day. Uh, however, they are very informational, very educational. I also don't do any clickbait. I don't falsely lure you in into my videos. I don't do pictures like this. So <laughs> yeah, please, uh, I would really appreciate if you uh, do this. Okay, uh, the token I want to talk to you today is sitting around uh, 50 so top 100 at the moment has been massively hit because of uh, bitcoin fud the cryptocurrency i want to talk about is hedera hashgraph or hbar the way i found it was because of uh, the video i did on vchain i'm gonna leave a link in the description for that video if you are interested so that is a supply chain management company that is using blockchain to track everything for example if you are drinking glass of wine that i just introduced how do i know that it is authentic so right from the producer vineyard right up to your table you should be able to scan a qr code see the entire journey on the smart contract it is a really fast cryptocurrency. It's a third generation cryptocurrency. It is faster than Bitcoin and Ethereum. However, it is not as decentralized as uh, you may think. Again, guys, I am on both sides of here. I am a long-term investor. The Bitcoin maximalists don't like these kind of cryptocurrencies. These cryptocurrencies are 
working within the system so they are collaborating with like all the uh, leading names so you have on their governing council google ibm lg university college london one of the biggest companies from india tata communications so on so forth it's like who's who uh, of the centralized uh, world here who govern uh, this cryptocurrency if you follow me on twitter i have been trying to defend xrp xrp is one of the most misunderstood cryptocurrency on the planet again because people think it's a banker's coin but actually it is not so these cryptocurrencies are actually trying to change the system by acting within the system so hedera hashgrab is proof of stake cryptocurrency and it is actually very very fast and they say it's called gossiping because gossip travels very very fast it's you can read about it okay guys the the block uh, bitcoin block will do three transactions per second ethereum will do 12 they claim hedera hashgraph can do 10000 transactions per second there is a star here which makes me a uh, little bit suspicious and actually if you dig deeper it means wallet to wallet anyways uh, the average fee per transaction is quite high with Bitcoin and Ethereum. It is very, very low with Hedera Hashgraph. 10 to 60 minutes confirmation on Bitcoin. Uh, again, 10 to 20 seconds on Ethereum. 3 to 5 on Hedera Hashgraph. Energy consumption is a big issue these days, you know, uh, with Elon Musk uh, challenging the Bitcoin energy use and Michael Saylor obviously absolutely blasting that argument by comparing the total energy produced in the world in terms of terawatt hours and then comparing it to how much we waste just by not switching off 885 kilowatt hour with bitcoin 102 with uh, ethereum and you can see how energy efficient hedera hashgraph is as i was saying the the supply chain aspect was important uh, for me to go, get into this cryptocurrency but it is actually smart contract compatible so how do you buy hedera hashgraph if you are in us you can buy it on kraken in the uk and europe you can buy it on binance if you want five percent discount on any crypto you buy on binance the link is in the description more recently they have partnered with many countries covid track and trace apps more recently in the uk you know the pfizer vaccine needs to be stored at minus 80 how do you ensure a vaccine delivered in a particular health center has been at minus 80 right from production to the delivery so it can be thawed and kept in fridge for two three days so again hedera hashgraph here is making strides in that world it can basically track right from the production in the factory and right up to the vaccination uh, at the health center uh, the source code of uh, hedera hashgraph is not open uh, again uh, some of the maximalists will not like it but as i said i'm an investor i want to uh, diversify so the two supply chain cryptocurrencies on my portfolio rv chain and h bar it is sitting at 0.22 the total supply maximum supply is 50 billion many many of these were given to initial investors who are actually selling a lot and that is what is keeping the price down but if you look at the overall trend here i would say it's still on an upward trend in early february this was still uh 0.03 and so that's still a massive run up in, in two, three months. So again, I would say that just uh, uh, wait for the right entry moment. If you like this uh, cryptocurrency, obviously it's your decision. And that's all I have for the video for today. And I'll see you in the next video.